Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. This video is one of the requested videos out in my community section about decreasing the ping in Windows 10 and network optimization guide. So here is everything you need to know about network optimization in Windows 10. So make sure you guys follow around this guide till the end. I hope this video helps you out and if it does, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. I've been seeing that more than 96% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. So please, please help me out, subscribe to the channel. We are really close to 20k and I believe you guys will subscribe it. Please do it. And without wasting up any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first thing we're going to be covering is the DNS settings. Now, a lot of you guys uh, already know it if you guys have been watching my previous videos, but if you guys haven't yet watched it, um, here is how you can do it. So, go to your control panel and then go to um, network and internet and go to network and sharing center. Over here, you have to go to the ethernet and then go to properties now once you are here you have to go to the internet protocol version 4 double click on that just um, it will be by the default it would be here you have to click on this and then open your command prompt now once you are here type in ping 8.8.8.8 give it a little bit of time and it will show you your ping so my average ping is 3 ms with google servers now you have to do it ping 1.1.1.1 So as you guys can see, I'm getting a lower ping over here, whereas the higher ping over here. So what you can do is over there, you have to type in 8.8.8.8. And for the alternate DNS server, you have to go for 8.8.4.4. Hit OK and hit OK. For the next step, we have to do is click on Ethernet once again. Go to Properties and hit Configure. Once you are here, go to power management and make sure that all of these options are unchecked. In that way, your uh, ethernet won't shut down even if there is a shortage of power. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is something that your PC has inbuilt. All you have to do is type in network reset and you guys will find it in your settings. You have to click on reset now, hit yes and you have to restart your PC once and it will reset your internet. Alright, next thing is again in the control panel. You have to open up your control panel and then type in power and go to the power options. Once you are here, make sure you click high performance and then change plan settings. Change advanced power settings. Over here, you have to go down and find wireless adapter. Double click on that. Double click on power saving mode and then make sure it is set on the maximum performance hit apply hit ok and close it next thing is altering the startup apps for that type in startup apps and it will be popped up right in your system you'll be coming to a page like this just disable all the apps that you don't want when your pc boots up in that way you're going to be saving a lot of your internet since your pc doesn't consume any internet while it boots up Next thing is Task Manager Hard Killing. Press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and you'll open Task Manager. Then go to Performance and then open Resource Monitor. Over here you'll find 4 tabs. You have to come to the network one and give it 2-4 to four minutes until all the network using uh, applications pops up over here. As you guys can see. Here are a total number of apps which are currently using my internet and see which one of them are using the highest amount of internet. You can even go and see this. If you find any activity that is using a lot of your internet, you can right click and hit end process. Be careful about the applications which you are closing because many of them would be related to system and crash your system. Next thing is using the command settings. Now again open up your command prompt and type in ipconfig slash release. Then type in ipconfig slash renew. Then type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and close it. Next thing is using TCP optimizer. Now if you guys don't know here is an app called TCP Optimizer. I'll be leaving a link to this website in the description below. 
you'll be directed to a page like this. Okay, once you hit the link of TCP Optimizer, you have to go to the speedguide.net and then wait for it to open and it will download TCP Optimizer on your PC. Then you have to run this app as an administrator and once it opens up, I'll be leaving a link to the settings file in the description below. You have to go and hit file and then hit import and download the file that I'm going to be providing in the description below and open that file over here and then make sure in the settings section your connection speed is up to 100 mbps then i highly suggest you guys using an app called netlimiter 4 i'll be leaving a link to that app in the description below okay once you open netlimiter 4 an interface like this will pop up in front of you now suppose you are playing a game what you can do is right click on the uh, game app suppose this one is your game all you have to do is right click on that hit priority then from normal go to high and hit save now this way you're gonna be giving a large priority to your game rather than the other apps that your pc is using in the background so you'll get a better gaming advantage anyway all right last but not the least here is the ping reduction bat that i'm gonna be leaving a link in the description below you guys can download it and then right click on this and run it as administrator now this batch is completely safe here i've saved you some typing time in your command prompt i have disabled all of those unwanted applications and unwanted network consumption uh, stuffs that your pc run in the background it's gonna disable all of that and believe me this is one of the very important steps if you miss it whole things might not work guys i hope this video helps you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out